Yo, what up, y'all? This is your boy, Food Jockey, coming at you with another video on my way to work. You know how I do it. We talk about a little bit of this, a little bit of that. We definitely gonna talk some ish on this um, trip. You know what I'm saying? We gonna try to be informative. We gonna try to be entertaining. You know what I'm saying? Try to be funny. You know what I'm saying? You know how we do it. But yeah, this is your boy, Food Junkie, and we're gonna talk about it. Let's do it. There is a lot going on. There was a lot going on this weekend. There was a lot going on while I was out of town. Um, but I want to talk about something that's been developing over the weekend that had nothing to do with this sector. And that is the whole Nicki Minaj Trina situation. Now, I've been, I heard about it a couple of days ago when it was developing, like probably around Sunday evening when I was on my way home. They heard a little bit more about it yesterday. You know, I don't like to just jump in on things based on, you know, um, what's hot at the moment and what people are talking about at the moment. I like to do a little bit of research. I like to find out what's going on, listen to different differences of opinions, listen to the full story. Sorry about that. You know, and just pretty much do that. You know, I don't like to, you know what I'm saying? People want to get in on the ground floor. Most always get the story wrong and most always have things happening and developing that they may not have covered initially which means they gotta do a retraction and back pull up pussy popping things of that nature. And y'all know I don't like doing that. I don't like repeating myself. I don't like constantly talking about the same thing over and over and over again. You know, it becomes boring. It becomes redundant. It becomes just not essential for me. But yeah, so Nicki Minaj. Of course, the whole story is um, on Nicki Minaj, on, on, on Trina's album, Nicki Minaj did a song while it's not on it. And basically, Nick, Nick, Nicki didn't want to do um, the video, didn't really promote it. Well, it's not promoted it once on the radio. Had the cover art um, for the single on one of her um, smaller platforms. Well, it's not really didn't do a lot with the helping of promoting this album. Trina felt that, you know, um, well, sorry, not Trina. Trina's people felt that her, her and her felt that, you know, Nicki didn't do exactly what was contractual for her to do or exactly what she did or what, or what she would do for a friend, I should say. You know, and that put a bad taste in their mouth because, they, of course, they ride that for Trina and, of course, Nicki Minaj isn't, you know, the favorite person was not, you know, and they're speculating that, you know, this, the streets are speculating that, you know, maybe Nicki Minaj is um, too much of her new fiance, husband, whoever the dude is, whatever. And, um, you know, that's why she's not really in tune to what's going on with her and Trina. And basically, uh, Nikki has been saying that she is a fan of Trina. She likes Trina. That's her girl. That's her third. People are asking the question, if that's your girl, why are you treating her this way? Why aren't you promoting her music that y'all have done together? Why aren't you guys, why, why aren't you doing everything you possibly can to make sure that this single, this, um, thing is a success for both of you. You know what I'm saying? It's a way to get your name back out there in a good way. Plus all the drama that your name is affiliated with. It's a way for you to not only help her get her name back out there the way it needs to be besides, you know, where it's at, you know what I'm saying, local basically, because Trina's a huge in Florida, but across the country, around the world, you know what I'm saying? Trina, you know what I'm saying, kinda of fell off, you know. That's just real. Uh, the only reason why we're talking about her now is because the Love and Hip Hop Miami situation that she's been on. Hope, hopefully, that would have rebooted her career and the whole thing with Trina right now. I mean, sorry, Nikki right now is why we're talking about Trina. No one's really talking about Trina in that way. We talk about her with the whole Kardashian French Montana, French Montana thing, while it's not. But other than those little scandals and little um, things in the public eye based on people, other people, no one's really, really talking about Trina's music. You know what I'm saying? So this will be the way for Trina to make her you know, so nice little comeback was not and do a nice, nice little um, stint on the charts with the help of Nicki was not, but the song wasn't as successful as they felt it could have been because um, Nicki didn't promote it the way they thought she should have, or the way they hoped she would have, I should say. You know, but you know, you can't tell somebody how to spend their time once they did what it was con contractually obligated to um, for you to do. It's kind of like the Monique situation, you know what I'm saying? where people wanted her to do something extra that she wasn't getting paid for. And speaking of the video, was now I also heard that, you know, while they initially was going to do the video, they had the money to um, shoot the video and cover Nikki's um, fees or whatever. But 
that fell through. So when they went back to try to reshoot the video or, re or finally to shoot the video, the money they had initially was gone. So that's why Nikki didn't show up. How do I feel about that? Mm, don't know. Don't care, really. <laughs> I really don't care. Just talking about it because it's something else that's going on in this um, news cycle that is other than this whole YouTube bullshit. Also, um, Nicki Minaj did a interview on Joe Budden's podcast, and um, mind you, Nicki had did something with the hashtag Black Girl Tragic, a take on Black Girl Magic. Basically, Nicki was trying to explain that you know um, there's a bunch of Black women out here. Was not who is downgrading, degrading, and talking shit about her. Was not, and, it's, and she said basically it's it's tragic. It's a tragedy. Okay. Sexy black ass. You know, I like them chocolate, baby. <laughs> I like them chocolate. But yeah, um, you know, yeah, so basically, with the hashtag Black Girl Tragic was not, and this is on the Joe podcast, a little bit that I heard, um, he asked her about it was not, saying that, you know, something about, she's supposed to say that, you know, he, I know he ain't talking with his messy ass to stand in third. Lots of this and lots of that, you know what I'm saying? Basically, the same thing that people always say. But people also was talking about how, um, you know, they don't know why Trina's upset because Trina has done the same thing that Nikki's doing to her or perceived to be doing to her to other artists. You know what I'm saying? People have said that, you know, Trina have done the exact same thing where she didn't promote a, a smaller artists as much as they thought that she would when she got a feature on her own single or on the album while it's not. And they feel that Trina could have done more to help them out as well. As now she's thinking that Nikki should have done more to help her out. You know. But my thing is this. What do I always say, people? Watch how someone treats someone else. Because more than likely, they are able and willing to do the same thing to you. When this becomes your time to deal with them. My eyes always stay open. I know I don't always talk about everything that I see or everything that I know or everything that is going on around me because really I don't care enough, you know, but it doesn't mean that I don't see it. It doesn't mean I'm not wis wi witnessing it. I'm not um, getting my, taking my notes, you know what I'm saying, stockpiling it for another day. It doesn't mean that. It means that, you know, it's not important until it affects me. It also means that I'm not fooling with you the way I could fool, fool with you if you weren't as grimy and fucked up as you are. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, when I fuck with you, I fuck with you hard. You know what I'm saying? When I ride for you, I ride for you hard. I'm not going to um, take your battles up for you last time or pick up the baton for you, whatever, and do the work that you should be doing for yourself. But it means that I have your back 100%. You know what I'm saying? And if you need help, well, it's not. I don't like being there for you. But when I see that you're on some fuck shit, you have to take the good with the bad, which means that if, if I fuck with you like that, you need to be able to, you know, understand that while I'm, I'm, all, I'm all about truth, I'm all about telling the truth, I'm all about making sure that you understand what's going on and why things are happening the way they may be happening for you, you know, in my opinion. Not saying my, my opinion about is always right, but what I'm doing, what I say, it works for me. You know what I'm saying? And this is why I may be seeing something that you may not be seeing as an outsider looking in. You know, because sometimes we get um, wrapped up in our own minds, our own bodies, in our own heads, what's well, not, to where we really can't see what's going on. We really don't understand what's happening. And we need someone from the outside looking in to actually help us see it the way it actually is. And I try to be that voice or that um, you know, mechanism that you may need to see that in a certain way. But you know, who am I to tell somebody how to live their life? But I always say as well, when, you know, I'm trying to help you out, what's well, not, and things start fucking up on you, and things start going bad and going wrong on you, I'll never be the one to say, I told you so, but I will be the one to be like, mm, I, mm, yeah, mm. <laughs> because, yeah, I don't push rocks up hills, you know, I don't, you know, allow craziness to happen and me just sit back and watch it happen. I try to prevent it as much as possible especially in my life and if you're close to me. But anyways, the whole thing with Trina and Nicki Minaj thing, back to that. Um, Trina could have seen how she treated Lil' Kim. When Lil' Kim initially, before Trina, not Trina, before um, Nicki was even coming out, Lil' Kim 
was trying to help her out and promote things like that. You know what I'm saying? And then when she can't, got put on, basically, um, Nikki has, I'm sorry, Kim has been, well, you know, the worst thing since sliced bread for Nikki. You know what I'm saying? And all Kim wanted her to do was acknowledge the fact that, you know, I helped you out. You bite my style. You bite my image. Well, it's not. And what she, she, Nikki did, that's why I probably never liked Nikki as much hard as I could have liked Nikki. You know what I'm saying? Not saying she's not talented. She has some dope beats and her rhymes are kind of sick every once in a while. But, you know, it's just the fact that, you know, no one's asking you to kiss someone's ass, but if I'm asking you to hold, you know what I'm saying, give respect when respect is due type of thing. But, you know, that's just me. This is how I roll. Yeah. You know, this is how I am, you know. I'm not going to kiss people's ass or whatever, but I will acknowledge that, you know, I got help from you type of thing. But anyways, that's just that whole aspect of it. But yeah, that's what's been going on with the whole Nicki Minaj and um, Trina thing. You know, Trina, Trina's and our feel that Nicki was foul and was shady as fuck, you know what I'm saying? Everyone been saying for years that you know, Nicki was like that, whatever. Trina thought she was exempt. You're not exempt, baby. Someone's character is their character. Regardless of how much they say they like you, how much they want to, how, how much you... They say that they admire you, what's not, and admire your talents, what's not. People's character are, are, are their character. And as soon as people start realizing that, what's not, it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? And that way you could govern yourself accordingly. You don't always have to always fall out with someone because they have a fucked up, shady character. Sometimes it works for the best interest if you know how to handle them with a long handed spoon. You know? You know? If, if you want people around you like that, that's fine, that's good. If you don't, you know? Um, move away from people as soon as possible. But Trina, like I said, Trina thought that you know Nikki could have her out. Was well, not Nikki thought that Trina could have her out. I guess Nikki realized that Trina couldn't have her out unless she wanted to, or the obligation she have is too great to where she couldn't help Trina out as much as, much as Trina would like her to. And when this is in the situation, the funny thing is how life imitates art, because that's how it happens. That's, that's, that's how it's happening here on YouTube. You know what I'm saying? One YouTuber think that another YouTuber is supposed to be helping them out. You know what I'm saying? Have their back. They're exempt. And next thing you know, they realize that you're not special. You're not exempt. <laughs> Who you are and what you are does not, you know what I'm saying, dictate how someone's going to treat you. You're not special at all. You're one of the ordinary, you know. It happens that way in life. All the time, you put two, you put twenty on ten, thinking that you know you are going to do something, be something, or have something to do something while it's not. And as you know, you're realizing that you know it's not what you thought it was. The person that you thought was your bestie, the person you thought was your confidant, your ace boom coon, is not that. You know. Person that, the person that you think will have your back when times get hard, when times get rough, they don't. You know what I'm saying? They're sitting back watching you fend for your life. You know what I'm saying? It happened like that with Monique as well. Like people don't always realize that people will constantly have these cycles and things happen to them was like, until they start realizing that, you know, you're not special. I'm not special. You know what I'm saying? Monique has been going through this for what, 10 years now? Thinking that people that she was once her buddies, her pals, her friends, would have her back and cut off their nose and spite their face for her? People tell you, I'm not going to do that for you. Why are you feeding your family with that? Worry, worry about feeding your family. I'm feeding mine as well. I have to worry about the same things you're worried about. We're playing a game on an uneven playing field. And I'm not going to risk myself in order to make sure that you have what you need. You know, you stand in your stuff, I stand in mine. Everyone needs to stand in their own shit. Be, be responsible for their own situations. So if, if you wanted your music to um, thrive and be good, he had a hot, if, if it was hot enough, was not, Trina? You know what you do. You, you, you promote the hell out your own stuff. You make sure that you get yourself out to many radio stations, many DJs, many clubs as you possibly can. And you can leverage the fact that Nicki Minaj was on it, but expecting her to do all the work for you was not. It's kind of crazy. Just like someone expecting someone else to do all the work for them, whatever. You know. 
like I said, it happens on YouTube all the time. It happens in real life all the time. It, happens, it definitely, definitely happens in the entertainment industry. That you know, people think that you know, if you can just get in with one good person, if if you can get in with one person that can help you out, and it does happen all the time. But at the same time, once you get there, what are you gonna do? Okay, I, okay, I give you a feature. Now, what you gonna do with that? How are you gonna run with that ball? You know what I'm saying? Here's the ball. I'm the ball. I gave it. I gave it to you. My, my feature, my lyrics, my verse is a is the ball. How are you gonna run with? How are you gonna run with it now? I can't give you the ball and run for you at the same time. Shit. You know. I can't help you get your subs and run with your concept at, at the same time. You know. I can't, I can't give you the opportunity and tell you how to explain upon the opportunity that I gave you. You know, it happens all the time. You have to be able and willing to be able to. Um, take what someone give you, figure out how big or small it is, and form it in a way that works for you and help you out. You know? Nothing's ever promised to you. But yeah, that's my whole spiel on the whole Nicki Minaj, Trina situation was not. But like I said, how life can imitate art, how art, art can imitate life. You know what I'm saying? Be it in the real life or be it on these YouTube streets. You see it all the time. As I always say, you guys, love yourself, love someone else. Respect yourself and respect someone else. It's your boy Food Junkie, and until next time, I'll be talking to you. Until then, peace.